I'd like to switch now to ask you about some legislation you're putting forward about Planned Parenthood. Planned Parenthood's come under criticism recently for some of these videos. Uh, Planned Parenthood in the videos where uh, people at Planned Parenthood are talking about fetal tissue research. Planned Parenthood said they did nothing illegal, but you'd like to deny federal funding. Uh, how do you plan to do that? Well, the thing is, is as a physician, I watched this video of a physician and her callous sort of, you know, disregard for anything human about life and just to casually over wine and brie to say, oh, well, we manipulate the baby around so we can get the body parts out first and then we crush the head at the end instead of at the beginning. I think even pro-choice people are horrified by this. I know a lot of people on the whole spectrum of the abortion issue. I don't talk to any pro-choice friends who are not horrified by this. Every bit of money that Planned Parenthood gets is already given to community health centers. Community health centers do everything Planned Parenthood does except for abortions. There's no reason for Planned Parenthood to get any federal money and basically the things they are doing are unacceptable to a vast majority of people, pro-life or pro-choice. Unacceptable, but are they illegal and will that help you get legislation through? Well, I, I don't think it's going to be, my legislation won't be about whether it's legal or not. Money can change hands for research purposes, but the thing is, is realize what this woman is saying. This woman is saying she manipulates the body around. Okay. Most babies present head first when they're being delivered. She's moving the baby around so the head is still in, trying not to crush the liver. She's talking cavalierly about harvesting baby parts. Right. Whether it's against the law or not, my goodness, I think everybody in America is horrified by this, right. and they don't want their tax dollars going to this group. All right, Senator Paul, thanks so much for being with us.